Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. I've got a mail day today, but first, want to shout out Like Hot Cards, who posted the video of the spoils pack as part of the fun Hawk Swap video. So, whoosh, check the eye. You can watch what he sent to me, and then watch what I sent to him, and enjoy all that goodness. Uh, second, a brief rant on the true AL Rookie of the Year. The baseball writers decided to chase the shiny object rather than vote on the rookie who actually had the most consistent production and impact and helped their team win games. Yankees won 100 games, over 600 record, made the playoffs. The Angels were a sub-500 team that's with Mike Trout haven't made the playoffs since 2009. Now, I mention this because a lot of people want to talk about war, wins above replacement. Now, war is a long mathematical calculation that no one works in the same way, so there is no definitive war. But if you want to point to it, I'll say that when your team wins so few games and you play in so many less, like Otani, your war is going to be better than a guy who plays almost every single game for a team that wins 100 games. So, the true AL Rookie of the Year, my guy, Miguel and Duhar, Miggy Can Do, Miggy Two Bags and Do Can Do, you know it, he's the best. 149 games played, 297 average, 170 hits, 27 homers, 47 doubles, 83 runs scored, and 92 RBIs. Now, I wanted to get that out of the way because I'm just about done with the first draft of my play that follows the trajectory of Miggy's year, and in my play, at the end, he wins Rookie of the Year. Uh, And had this on display because it's one of my favorite cards that I picked up over this season of Miggy, numbered 1 out of 10 beautiful, beautiful rookie performers, 5x7 from Heritage. Just love this piece. Uh, And I wonder now, though, that his autos and cards might become a little more affordable on eBay, which is good for me. Okay, the mail. This is Tops on Demand set number 7, 3D. That's right, 3D. Uh, There were only 269 sets produced. Uh, That's pretty low. Uh, I got it direct from Tops online for $19.99. That was with free shipping. And I'm seeing them on eBay for $50 to $200. That's crazy. Uh, They only come with eight cards, I believe. Uh, that's the tough thing about tops on demand and tops now. You never really know exactly what you're going to get. You know, it says it's a set, but you don't get the set. You basically get a pack. Uh, and so here is the pack that I got. I'm hoping for some Anduhar. And if I don't get one, uh, if you got one of these and you pull me Miggy two bags, uh, and want to trade, if I pull something amazing, let me know. Uh, and let's work that out. Okay. Uh, we got the uh, Sport Flicks episode coming up. This is kind of like that. Sport Flicks were three images in one, and this is just sort of more of a 3D. So we see the background moving. Get up close, you can kind of see the, the grooves in the card, I hope. Maybe not. I'm trying to get it to focus for you. Yeah, you can kind of see the grooves there. But really neat, really neat stuff. Uh, so let's see what we got here. First one, Charlie Blackman. Oh, for all the Red Sox fans out there in the world, Andrew Benintendi Rookie Cup. It does look really cool that the background moves around like that. It's almost like they are, it's like a panorama when you take that on your phone of the, of the crowd and then the player stays. Maybe his hands moved a little bit, his leg just a tiny bit there. Oh, I'm going to get the Red Sox a lot? I swear, when you sign up for Tops, they ask you what your favorite team is, 
And so obviously I put Yankees, and I feel like they troll me. I order stuff and they just troll me with Red Sox. But I, I do like Mookie Betts. He's a hell of a player. MVP this year for sure. Berrios. Adrian Beltre. Don't touch his head. Pretty cool. That's neat. Oh my god, for real. This is BS. What is this Red Sox pack? That's actually got the most movement of any of them. Man, I hope somebody out there watching gets the Yankee pack and we'll just do a straight up trade. Although I did get Jack Flaherty, my man Jack Flaherty. He did finish like fifth in NL Rookie of the Year. Um, he and Walker Bueller just had amazing seasons. Oh, actually, that's the difference, is you can see here, some say 3D, and some are, are just like a regular kind of movement card. That's right, I think you get two or three of the 3D cards. All right, I think we're, this is the last card here. And it's Altuve. Yeah, so the 3D cards are special, um, and then the regular part of it are just uh, like a mirror image of the regular base of Topps 2018, I think. But they're really super glossy back. And pretty cool. So these are definitely a little more like the Sport Flicks, except like I said, those Sport Flicks that we'll be covering this Thursday uh, are three different images, and this is just like a movement card. Uh, but we'll look at more of that on Thursday. So for me, this is probably the best uh, card in the bunch because uh, I do like Jack Flaherty. Um, but we got some good stuff here. Uh, you know, I don't hate on the Red Sox, but obviously getting no Yankees out of this batch is def is a bummer. I mean, that's a big-time bummer for me. Uh, so, like I said, if you're out there and you got one of these sets and you got some Yankee cards, let me know if you want to maybe swap a few, uh, and that would be fun. Uh, so... Let me know what you thought of Tops On Demand set number 73D and slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends and I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.